Hello, this is Father Jamie. I just wanted to take a few moments to reflect with you all about friends. At Mass today, the first reading um, was from the book of Sirach. And Sirach talks about friends and how a close friend is definitely a treasure. And I'll leave uh, the, the scripture quote in the description box of this video so you can look it up yourself. But I want to say a few things about friends in reference to um, blind people and whatnot. A lot of blind people struggle with having friends, especially having sighted friends. Part of that is because sighted people have a hard time understanding their blind friends at times, and that's okay. I've been very blessed to have wonderful sighted friends over the years. One of my closest friends, Anna, she and I met in fourth grade. And it's funny, when I tell people about her, the first question they ask me is, oh, what eye condition does she have? Well, she doesn't. She's a sighted person. But the thing about us blind people, we are extremely loyal friends which means if a friend hurts us, it hurts doubly. It hurts much more. And so that's why some blind people have a hard time making friends. They don't want to make, they don't want to take the risk of being hurt, especially when we're not understood. A true friend doesn't let a disability get in the way. A true friend isn't afraid to ask questions. A true friend will be there regardless of the difficulty. And in that reading from Sirach, it talks about there are some friends who will be there with you when it's convenient, some who will only be there in the good times. But that true friend that's a, definitely a treasure will be there whether it's difficult or not. And those are the friends we need to strive for. And that means we have to sometimes come out of our comfort zone and look for that special friend or friends. Thankfully, I have probably four or five very close friends in my, what I call my inner circle, that um, are always there for me, and I'm always there for them. And we blind people, we are, I'm talking, we're extremely loyal, loyal to our friends. You don't know the treasure you have if you have a blind person as your friend, because we're going to be there. We're going to be there because we are so trusting. We don't have a choice but to trust people. And that's why it hurts so much more um, when we are hurt. So blind people, try. we need to try our best to not let our disability get in the way of having friends. And they can be more than just other blind people. That means we got to take risks. That means we have to put ourselves out there. And yes, we will get hurt sometimes. And with the grace of God, it will be okay. And this is the same for anyone, blind or sighted. We have to work on our relationships. We have to work on them every day. You know, my best friend Anna was pulled out of school after fourth grade and was homeschooled. And she and I talked almost every day. We made a point of working on our relationship because we only saw each other maybe five times a year, if that. But we worked on that friendship and we have kept it up till this very day. That is a great gift. And she lives on the other side of the state from me and we're still just as close now as we were as children. My other best friend, who's a priest in Tulsa, Oklahoma, we were in seminary for four years together. We lived together every day, shared our meals together, went to classes, prayed together. And we knew that when we went our separate ways after um, he graduated and was ordained a couple of years ahead of me, we knew that would be a difficult break. But we made the choice to work on that friendship, and we still do. We still talk every week. We work on that friendship. We keep it maintained. It's important. And, you know, I also have a friend in California 
who is also extremely close to me. And, you know, it's so funny. My closest friends, with the exception of one, they all live across the state or states away from me. <laughs> and that just goes to show how loyal, how caring, how loving, you know, and the willingness to maintain those friendships. It's a great testimony to the power of friendship. So I encourage all of us to look for those close friends. We all need close friends that we can be open with about everything. And if you know someone and you don't know who their friends are, that might be a problem. I know people like that. And that tells me one of two things. Either they're not comfortable with themselves or others to make those choices, to take those risks, to be a friend. It's either that or they're hiding something. They don't want people close to them. And God made us in His image. And God is a trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God is all about relationship. We are made in His image. We are all about relationship because God is. So we're fully human when we are, when we are in relationship with one another. So don't forget that. Don't forget to work on those friendships, those relationships of all kinds, whether you're, especially if you're married, especially, you know, our closest friends. We have to work on getting to know the other every day. Otherwise, you won't know the other person. And in a few years, you won't know them. And then that relationship breaks down. So may we do our best to remember God works His grace sometimes through our friends, our closest friends who are not afraid to call us out, to be there for us, the good times, the bad times, all of the above. God is present to us a lot of times through our friends. That's why they're so important. And sometimes He works through us to be friends to others. So may we do our best to look for those friends, to be a friend, all together on this journey towards God, who is Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God bless you all.